Aloha and guten Abend. <laughs> it's Cara Riley, and I'm the founder of the Photo Tour Global Directory. And if any of you were waiting, we had a little bit of uh, Google Gremlins that come up sometimes when we start our show. And uh, but here we are, and we're starting with the Google. Photo Tour Global Directory website, and it is for consumers and businesses to connect with photographers around the world. And what we want to bring to you is some fun. Um, uh, I'll be introducing our, our panel here, but this website is a place where you can connect with all the social media of photographers and see their beautiful work. And I want to thank all of you who have contributed to our Google Plus event in the gallery. Um, you'll be able to come back and if you're listening from YouTube for the European Connection number one, which is our, our show, you'll be able to go to the gallery and literally see hundreds of beautiful photos uh, and you can check by photographers. So this will be great. And today we're going to have our international photographers in Germany and in the Netherlands share some of their stories about how they got started, what you can expect to find in their particular areas. And our vision is that you will be able to connect with, on video to someone who could be your own global personal photographer because you've seen them here and uh, you'll see their beautiful area. I'm going to uh, start here and just show you uh, Britta Rogi. Hi, Britta. Um, and Britta is from the Berlin, Germany area. She is the curator of Show Your Best Work on uh, Google Plus and has uh, many websites that she'll tell you about. <laughs> and uh, Annalise, hello, Annalise. Cronin. Hi, Cara. The, the Netherlands, uh, and um, she is the curator of Nautical Wednesday, one of the curators, very active on Google Plus and lots of fun. And we have Andreas Levi, who is a party animal. You are just going to have fun here, <laughs> DJ, uh, uh, from the Haars area in uh, Germany. And he is the curator of uh, the Haars. Haar's Builder and Haar's Community, and also a co-curator co of uh, Leading Lines Monday. So uh, I'm going to come back here, and what we'll do is we're going to have each one of our international photographers explain who they are, and if they go into a native language for a, a few minutes to share with uh, our global um, viewers, then and you'll see exactly who they are and how fun they are to uh, go out on a photo tour with. So we're going to start with Annalise in the Netherlands. So Annalise, so great to be here. It's evening in uh, in uh, the Netherlands. It's uh, uh, 11 o'clock, uh, 11.20 in Williams, Arizona. And so delighted to have you as a guest and, and being able to share your beautiful area. Yeah. Hi, Kara. I'm glad to be here. It's nice to meet Britta and Andreas and to be on your fa fabulous show. It's oh, nice. we're, we're, just, we're just delighted to be connecting the dots around the world with photography. It's so fun. Thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's nice to share with, with uh, other photographers and to invite people over to come to your area where you are familiar with, you can show them around, you can share so much with them. And there's so much beauty around in every place to see, but when you're not uh, familiar with a place, it's hard to find. And it should be fantastic to, to guide people around. Yes, you would know the secret places, what time the sun comes up, what time it sets, and that is what makes it so nice to have somebody in a specific area because they're going to know where to take you to get those great shots. Yeah, absolutely. So how did you start, Annalise, how did you start in photography? Tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, Ermond uh, in, in the Netherlands. Yeah. 
Ermont is a, a small village. It's about um, 80 miles above Maastricht. And a lot of people know Maastricht because of the famous treaty that was signed there. Um, I started photography uh, about six years ago, seven years ago, more active when my husband became a professional photographer and he needed an assistant. So <laughs> he gave me a camera, told me what to do and said, you go. And I went and it was fun. And that's how I started in photography. And now I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying the, the views around and you start to see more and more and the small things in life that are mm, easily overlooked. I like showing people the the simple things in life, like a simple meadow or a nice tree. Not always the big things, but also the small things. And there's a lot to see in this area. So how, where do people come in? If they were coming in to um, connect with you as a, as a personal uh, photographer, how would they get to Ermit? What's the easiest way? The easiest way is uh, the main highway from the north or from the south, the A2. You can come in from uh, the airport near Maastricht. You can come in from the airport near Eindhoven. You can come in from Schiphol. You can come in from Germany. We are quite close to uh, Liège, Belgium. There's also an airport. You can come here by train. It's it's very accessible, and it, it's not hard to find. And the whole area is quite accessible, as well as the the surrounding parts of Belgium and Germany. And uh, so, do people? How uh, with English? Do most of the people around the area speak English, or will that be a yeah. challenge? No, English is right is, is well spoken around here. French a bit more in the south because we are uh, our south border is connected to the um, French part of Belgium, the, where they speak the French, and there's a part connected to Germany and a part to Dutch speaking Belgium, but English is, is very easy here. So that's, that's great. And if, if someone were coming, would they connect a couple of uh, like Germany and, and France and the Netherlands? What, what would be a, a nice mix of where if you were coming to take uh, some shots around the area? If you would come here and take some shots of the area, I'd say visit Maastricht. Visit the uh, the region we call Heuvelland. That's the 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 most the, the part with the most hills in our country. We have got a flat country, but we have some hills, and they are in the south. <laughs> I'd say visit uh, Liège, Belgium, uh, perhaps Aachen, Germany, and a bit of the the countryside in in the, the other side of Belgium. That would be a nice mix. Oh, that's great. Now, um, what social sites are you on, um, Annalise, if people were wanting to connect the different social sites? I know you have all of the links on your About mm -hmm. page uh, yeah. on Google+, but also on the Photo Tour Global Directory page yeah. about you. Um, what are the different sites that they can find you? They can find me on Google+, Plus, of course, on Facebook, on 500 pics. Um, I'm got on Convozine. That's the most important. I sometimes send out a tweet. They can find me on LinkedIn. They can find me through Skype. <laughs> Plenty of ways to find me. There's a so that's great. That's great. So now, do you have some photos that you would like to share with us uh, of your area, Annalise? Yeah, I've got some pictures that I can I can show you. Yes, I think uh, we, as we were uh, fooling around in the green room, uh, uh, those of you who have been on a hangout on air, you know, you go, go in the green room uh, before the show trying to get all the gremlins uh, worked out. <laughs> and we had quite a few gremlins at the end with an echo in our, um, in our audio. So that's why we've had to uh, close out and start over. But uh, at least we're here and uh, no echoing and... We're still having a good time. So and let's hope the echo doesn't start when I start the screen share. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? We're ready. Okay, We're ready. Yeah, go they, to the Netherlands. Here, here we go. If it should work now. 
Do you see anything? Oh, we do. Yes, we see. Yeah, okay. we see yeah. the wonderful silhouette in beautiful sky. Yeah. That's the view I see when I look out of my office window. So I'm oh. very fortunate to have a temporary office at this level. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Well, we go on to the next picture. This is the picture of my village. This is Ermond with one of the two very small churches. It's a nice, mm, very small, picturesque village. You can and how, uh, walk how around. People, how many people are in your village, your Ermond? How many people? Do you know? I think about 5,000 most. Oh, that's a, it's like Williams. I have 3,000. I'm going to call yeah, it a village. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's I'm small. Route 66 by the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you've got a famous route next door. <laughs> yeah. This is beautiful European. This is, I think this is a, a, a picture that we all would uh, picture in our mind of a quaint village in uh, Europe. Yeah. It's a nice village. And this is a part of the, the surroundings. Uh, we call it, uh, it's, it's an orchard. But it's typical for the south of Limburg. It's it's uh, on high um, stems. <coughs> they also uh, have orchards on low level. But these are the old-fashioned ones, and it's a very nice view. Even the more the less rural areas are beautiful. You can beautiful see beautiful sunsets. Of, that's for sure. Sunrise. Sunrise. It was, it was an early morning. I took a detour to take the picture for you. <laughs> this is a local castle in, uh, in our surroundings. It's in uh, Elslo. It's a neighboring village. It's uh, in, in use for parties, for weddings, as a restaurant, but it also has a very nice park around it and a botanical garden. And of course, not to forget, Maastricht. A visit to Limburg is not complete without a visit to Maastricht. It's old, it's one of the oldest bridges you see here. It has a part that can rise for ships to pass. On the right side, where the, the church tower is, there is the, the area called Wyk. There was also an old brewery, and on the left side is the old city. And from the old bridge, looking up the other side, you see this new modern bridge by night. Those are beautiful photographs, the lovely um, and reflection. Okay. <laughs> and what most Americans want to see when they come to our area is the memorial at Margraten. <laughs> it's a huge uh, cemetery from the war. But it's also a very nice and tranquil place. And very impressive. Oh, that is. It's, uh, it's, it's a must-see. When you come here, you, you must have been to Margaten. You, you can't miss it. And of course, our hills. They don't go any higher than this, but they're beautiful. Oh, they are. And this, the drama in the sky. What, what's your weather like? Uh, like this at the moment. It, this was from last Sunday, and we are heading towards winter now. It's it's getting cold, uh, nearly freezing point in the nights. Um, sunshine, rain. This is a typical Dutch autumn. Beautiful. I love the drama drama in the sky. Yeah. And the colors in the trees. It's. Especially the area in, in, in the south part of the country is very beautiful at the moment. You can walk, you can have a, a good hike, you can cycle, you can take motor tours, you can uh, see so many things. And also in spring and in summer it's beautiful. The light is beautiful. Oh, look at there. This is Aachen. Also a little bit of Germany. I haven't got much... much picture of, of Aachen, but this is uh, a very nice one. There was a wedding going on. It's always nice to see. But it's a beautiful old city with lots of uh, beautiful places. But you probably know Andreas and Britta. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um, Annalise, just so yeah. you know, we have Jorge Jampi 
um, saying that it was beautiful <laughs> images. So I think you'll be happy to know that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Jorge, for, uh, for sharing that with us. We appreciate mm -hmm. it. <laughs> we know we have okay. some people watching. They're very good. So the, that was wonderful. <laughs> so we'll be able to uh, is, is that that what you have there for Annalise for your area. Mm -hmm. Great. That's a, Thank yeah, you. that's the We're, most the most important part. Yes, you've seen the most. Wonderful, wonderful. We have a great feel of what it would be like to go to. Ermund in Netherlands and uh, would be a delight to work with you and I'm looking forward to meeting you in May yeah. when we uh, do our North Sea and Baltic yeah. Sea so meeting all of you so this is going to be a fun fun We've got it scheduled yes yeah. so now Britta from Berlin Britta it, it, tell us about how you've gotten into photography and and uh, how people can connect with you this is exciting all different parts Parts of, of Europe that will be meeting. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. First of all, um, Berlin is a big city. Um, you can connect me about my website. I have a website um, for the special photo tour, BerlinDistrict.com. Also, I opened a Facebook fan page where I will upload daily a photo from Berlin, from the Oban Live um, in Berlin. Um, sh should I show you my presentation? Yes, or? yes. <laughs> so, uh, Britta has, and you can find on uh, Google Plus, there will be um, all of her um, uh, links on her About page, and also on the Photo Tour Global Directory page will be all of her links where you can find if she's doing tours and, and what have you. So um, yes, show us show us pictures of Berlin there. So I I try and I hope I will not get any error. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, well, I we have Marcus uh, Lechtenstein uh, is saying beautiful pictures, Annalise, and enjoying it. So we we have people uh, talking and sharing. But go ahead, Britta, do your screen share, and we'll see some beautiful photos from Berlin. Okay, I will start. There, it's perfect. Okay, I will start with a um, PowerPoint presentation about Berlin. It's a typical car from the GDR. Um, let me start. So, uh, okay, just a, maybe a little story about me. I was born in the GDR and grew up in the GDR. And um, my special photo tour I like to show you, I would like to show you is. Um, the east part of Berlin, because Berlin is very big and it's not possible to show you everything. <laughs> and let me start with my website. You can visit my website. Um, you will find photo impression. We will make excuse. We can also make excuse. Here is the website Berlin district.com we have um, a few photos upload from the mall um, sunset um, Berlin is also has many parks for relaxing um, festival of lights uh, Französischer Dome you have here category where you will find in the next couple of weeks much more um, photos about Berlin um, also, you will find on, and connect me about the Facebook fan page I have opened today with um, some photos. I like to show you the area, Oban style. I know um, some areas you will never find in any guidebook, however. <laughs> Those are the secret places we want to know. That's why they want you as a personal, yes. global uh, photographer to find those secret places in, that you don't see exactly. in the guidebook. <laughs> exactly. Perfect. Um, here's also um, 
because the history um, of East Berlin Stalin Bauten, I like to show you also a little about the history. It's a real style of, um, yes, here is a green Berlin too. It's a very great relaxing place, Gärten der Welt. In the most, the most best thing are in <laughs> East Berlin, of course. <laughs> um, here is a nice place for relaxing to take a break and watch the sunset, take photos from the sunset. Um, Brandenburger Tor, Hauptbahnhof. It uh, was a very new since a few years. Um, it's a very famous festival of lights. Is um, every each October, each uh, year. Brother, brother, excuse me. Um, yeah? Your presentation doesn't work. Um, we we only see. Oh, the it's not. Mountain. It's not clicking it, through. It you was just an X course. Do you see Facebook? What do no. you see now? We, we're still on photo impression of the website. Oh. Oh, okay. No, it there, didn't now, now we saw your Facebook. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay now it's the Facebook fan page. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay, Sometimes, some impressions. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and here's the wall. Okay, great. Yes. yes it's um, some um, impression about the wall. It's uh, called now Eastside Gallery. Festival of Lights, it's um, like I said, um, a highlight in October. Do you have Oktoberfest in Berlin? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. For that we have Festival of Lights. No, not really. Maybe, maybe, um, it's, no, it's, it's in Munich, it's Bavaria. Bavaria, it's not in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a Brandenburger Tour. Um, Hauptbahnhof, it's very new since um, built in uh, 10 years ago. Um, it's very great to uh, make photos there, but it's also um, very difficult. It's, uh, but if you can make great photos there, you will be very happy. <laughs> Get yes, those are, those are lovely lines there. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I, I pass every day um, Hauptbahnhof and every day I look for the right light. I'm waiting for the sunrise or sunset. It goes through the lines, you know. But <laughs> maybe I catch it one day. Maybe with you one day. Gärtner Welt, it's also um, in East Berlin, it's uh, very new, there are nine gardens uh, to relax, um, Japanese, Chinese garden, um, it's a very big, big Erholungszentrum, it's very, it's great, big place for relaxing, you see, you, you can picnic, you can um, stay the whole day there, you, you can just relax, Isn't be lazy in the sun, and enjoy. This is a park in Berlin, Britta. It's a, it's a yeah, it's a biggest park in Berlin. It's the biggest park in Europe, Gärtner Welt. Um, they have maybe I have the history on my website. It's still in German. I will um, Great. translate in the next couple of weeks in English. And it's built very new, it's nine years old, the garden. And um, in the garden, they will create garden from the whole world. For, for example, there is now a Chinese garden, in a Chinese style. There's a Japanese garden, there is a Potsdamer, Potsdam, Potsdamer garden. <laughs> um, there is also, um, I, I think, uh, Indonesia, from Indonesia they built um, a garden, it's... It's a beautiful two. garden, it's a beautiful yeah. garden. 2,5 hectare groß. <laughs> now we're still on the garden picture, I don't know if you've gone forward, okay, there yeah, we you go. Can, you, can, you can relax there in the sun, you can stay the whole day and um, you will find... Uh, 
each minute a uh, very interesting thing uh, to to make photos. It's, uh, okay, uh, maybe after after a very hard photo walk in <laughs> Berlin, we can enjoy the sunset mm. on the spray. Um, now it's media spray. Oh, mit drei E's, aha. <laughs> <lacht> Im Plan ja. von der Media Spray. <lacht> Beautiful. Oma, Oberbaumbrücke. It's yeah my favorite um, shot. Um, it's, it's a great place. And fortunately, less people know the place for the sunset. That's beautiful. <lacht> And Absolutely. at the end, I like to say thank you for this wonderful. <lacht> Oh, thank you. <laughs> We're so delighted to have you, uh, um, Britta, as a, as a member and representative of the German area. So, thank you so much. And so, un unfortunately, I don't know how can I show you now um, the website and the Facebook pen fan page, but it doesn't matter. Um, you will find any links um, on the um, Global Tour Directory uh, website. To you will. Oh, you have that on your page. So when they connect to you, um, then they will get the links to all of your websites that have all of the descriptions. So that's wonderful. Yeah. That's wonderful. Britta, thank you so much. It's so so great to get to know you and and uh, looking forward to our um, connection in uh, May when we're when we're there. So this will be great. <laughs> and um, I back now to uh, we had some uh, comments, Annalise. So I'm coming. I'm going back to you because I want you, uh, Marcus uh, Landsman, great place where you live, Annalise, and um, Akil Kalash, big fan mm -hmm. of yours, and Nanos too. Didn't know you have a cool Viking accent. <laughs> <laughs> Photos are amazing. <laughs> And, he, and there's a question. There's actually two questions. And one was from Neil, um, who is a Photo Tour Global Directory member from the um, uh, Channel Islands, mm -hmm. um, Neil Howard. He wants to know when is the best time of year to visit the Netherlands? I'd say spring. Spring, spring or autumn. Okay. Yep. Okay, and then Akil wants to know how you manage so many social networks. <laughs> so often. I'm not gonna tell Akil. I'm not gonna tell. <laughs> okay, all right, we'll tell him. And uh, thank you very much for your comments and uh, the nice compliment to Britta from Marcus Landsman. Thank you. And Marcus is one of our photo tour global directory members. We'll be having soon um, uh, on another one from. Germany, so we'll look forward to that. Now we are going to go to the DJ, <laughs> social media guru, big time party fun guy. We just, uh, I can't wait to uh, see the Haars area with Andres Levi. Um, so Andres, uh, share, start, share some of your history and uh, of how you got started in photography and, and all the great things that you do because you also help photographers with social media so this is wonderful great to have you Andreas thank you Carol thank you Britta and thank you Annalise and first hello and guten Abend from the house area <laughs> it's a great show uh, and uh, very uh, happy to be here and uh, get to invite uh, to this now uh, yeah what should I say no? I'm Andreas, <laughs> and I start uh, with some photos, or to take photos, uh, on a wedding, uh, my brother's wedding, a uh, uh, beautiful mm, event, and I took some pictures, and yeah, it was okay, and after the event, um, yeah, the whole family told to me, wow, your images are better as you from the professional. And this was in uh, 2004, and I thought to me, okay, I will uh, find the success of better images and photos and start a little tour during to uh, make right, photography. Uh, 
Well, so I start and uh, okay, Kara, I uh, told you a little secret. Yes, I was a DJ, but this is long time ago. <laughs> and uh, but 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 hard rock is always playing in the in the background. Oh uh, well, I just thought it was the party part. I love. Yes, it's party fun. party. No, the, to go. Okay. <laughs> You know, people don't don't know, and sometimes when we're on the video, we're not. You know, we're a little nervous, and no, uh, no, 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 <laughs> we, we don't head banging at the moment. <laughs> but I think Marcus will be surprised about this. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, oh, he was glad I called you a social media guru, so he said that. <laughs> yeah, and. Uh, I started uh, to uh, uh, get a little experience during the time, and then in 2011 uh, was Google Plus starting, and yeah, I found here a lot of photographers and uh, could the uh, chance to really learn a lot here. Uh, I must say thank you all for the wonderful support and for the tips and tutorials and. I can uh, only say to everyone who wants to start to uh, go out with a camera, come to Google Plus <laughs> and uh, watch the shows, and you can get uh, tips and ask and use the uh, whole chances of social media. Ask the people and uh, not uh, give only a smile. Ask questions. Ask questions and bring your own in the. No, in the world. This is a famous thing we can talk to, uh, with Annelies in the Netherlands or Kara in Arizona or who knows. Hello, everyone out there. <laughs> okay. Now I want to take you on a little trip to the Harz, my hometown. The Harz is the northernmost low mountain range in Germany. I hope my English is correct. And uh, you can arrive this via. Uh, Train, of course, we are car, of course, we are plane. You can uh, come in maybe via Hannover or Halle Leipzig, and then you can call me and I'll show you the best places. Will we start? Maybe, uh, one moment, please. I must click here. This is everything. Thing. Okay. I want to start a little tour with you through the seasons. Uh, through the hearts, and I want to like to start with you on the highest mountain. This is Brocken, and if you know the literature by G. W. Goethe, maybe the Faust, then I'm sure you know the Brocken. The Brocken is a place known as the Blocksburg. From this place, uh, I would recommend to uh, visited this highest mountain in the uh, winter because very clear uh, sky and very frosty light. This is perfect to go out and take pictures. It's always my pleasure. And from this place, from the Brocken, you have a wonderful view in our landscape and nearly about over 2,000, uh, 200 kilometers, 2,000 is very big, uh, 200 kilometers. And as you seen, the uh, Brocken is 1,142 meters hoch, but the best is you don't have to climb it uh, by foot, because you can use the hard narrow gauge railways. This is our uh, steam locomotive, and uh, in the hearts, we have today the longest continuous steel powered uh, rail network in Europe. And every day, some trains go out to the Brocken, and it's uh, very fantastic to uh, use this and, of course, to take pictures. Now we are on the second highest mountain in the Harz, because Wormberg. And here we're having, in addition to a lot of other uh, locations, a great place to have fun with different kinds of winter sports. Maybe this. Um, do you see this? Yes, we see a uh, yes. Okay. Uh, S curve. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I want to 
uh, only told you on our last Winter Hearts photo walk, some photographers use a chance and use, of course, this fun. Yeah? Well, of course, in the winter, landscape very frosty. And here we are uh, in Hankli, and the, oh, this thing is Hankli, right? And this is the Sosa Stave Church in Europe. Wonderful place to visit, and uh, the ha, my English Glockenspiel. I don't know, someone could help me. Um, it's else? very great, and we could uh, listen in at the last for the walk. You know, um, in in the hearts, uh, the hearts was wasn't free the whole time. Um, we uh, was uh, cut. In the both systems, both both political systems, and of course we have also a history. And uh, in 1989, as a war breaks down, uh, we are glad to uh, could break also these systems of borderline. It is very crazy, and uh, but we have some museums to. Get a chance to visit here and to remember this time. Well, now come to the springs, and in all seasons uh, you can find here many possibilities to enjoy, of course, landscape and nature. But in small towns and villages, uh, you can find very nice details too. For example, we have here the beautiful town hall of Wernigerode. Wernigerode is located in the north of the Harz. And for this place, uh, this is a great, great place um, for your wedding, maybe, if you want to have a maybe. But if you like this, you should uh, be early with an appointment. No? <laughs> <laughs> to, to get married in Germany at this cute, cute uh, building, you have to book early. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Who in Germany uh, said, "Wer trödet verliert." Yeah. If you lost your time, you lose. Okay. Uh, this is typical for the hearts, the uh, small. Uh, cities and uh, half temperate architecture. And also typical for the hearts are castles and castle ruins. Here uh, we are in the east part of the hearts and seeing the Falkenburg. And from here you can maybe start a wonderful walk oh my. That's beautiful. along the valley of Selke. So what what is the best season you would say is the best time to come to uh, the Haars area? Ah, every season is uh, <laughs> maybe perfect, uh, but depending on what you like. <laughs> that was <laughs> such a great answer, Andrea. So beautiful. I like I like very uh, every season. <laughs> every season, of course, Clara. <laughs> Excellent. But, um, I prefer, of course. The winter, the really frosty winter, and the beautiful autumn. I will show you next some images from the fall in the hearts, and hmm, we talk about it again, okay? All right. Yeah. Typical for the hearts are also the very nice cliffs. Here we see a few from the Raben cliff. Also in the background, maybe you can see this, is the Brocken, the highest mountain. Uh, it's always often to see. Or maybe you have this view on the other location, but you see always the cliffs. Uh, if you come to the Harz, we have uh, very nice places for a um, mm, uh, cozy walk, but you can also bring, uh, bring your mm, poles to the high level. If you want to climb, uh, it's also possibility. Well, the arts is also important, uh, has an important history, especially for mining. And in the Middle Age, 
was created here the first as one of the world's largest pre-industrial power supply system, the Upper Hearts Water Region. And now is this system of ponds and channels and dams a UNESCO World Heritage. And this is a part of this. This is the Oder Teich, one of uh, a really famous place uh, to go around and to chill and find new ideas. This is a part of the uh, Upper Hearts Water Region. You see the little uh, places here. Okay, always you can find very uh, still waters, very calm, and therefore very nice reflections. Yeah. Ah, some impressions. Maybe. Just beautiful. Oh, I'd like to sit on that chair and reflect. That's beautiful. Yeah. If you see uh, one image what you like, Kara, uh, and when you come to the arts in the May, maybe. Uh, yes. We make, we make a hike. Uh, maybe here to the We'll make a hike. <laughs> I, I like that. Let's make a hike. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Excellent. This This lake's um, uh, really inviting for photo tours, but also uh, inviting are this uh, wonderful white romantic valleys. We have, uh, we have a lot of these. And in these valleys you can find very cozy places you know, and somewhere you, uh, you can find a waterfall and yeah, like this place and take a rest and of course, take pictures like these. Well, in the hearts, we have not uh, really the highest waterfalls, but they are very, very uh, nice to capture it. Excellent. Okay. Here we some images from uh, the water system. And as I told you, a very nice reflection around the seas and the dams. Okay, the so, uh, very, very important um, steam oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> locomotive. Now it's also a very nice um, motive to capture. And we start with the, with this train maybe in the southern hearts. And as I told you a few minutes before, here we are in the, uh, in the southern hearts, and you can find also castles and castle screens like this. Or, and now we are in the Arten, uh, you will have wonderful points to the view of the uh, landscape of Turinga in this place, maybe. Or around. The typical uh, one of the typical parts in the Southern Hearts is a gypsum cast. You can see here some pieces of this, and we have uh, from the gypsum cast trails a very very wonderful uh, hiking path. And along this hiking trail, you can find very mm, nice plants and blossoms, and of course places to still and uh, to fill your memory cards, maybe like this. <laughs> <laughs> fill your memory okay. cards. <laughs> yeah, this was a short tour through the hearts, and I hope you like it. Thank you yeah. very much. Excellent. Um, yeah, your friend uh, Marcus Lansman said that the word uh, was um, glockenspiel, Car carillon, C-A-R-I-L-O-N. Mm -hmm. Like, or, carry on, carry on. This was a word, was I miss it? <laughs> <laughs>
Yes. So, anyway, thank you, Marcus. Appreciate all of you who are listening and uh, sharing with us. And I think you understand how um, wonderful it will be to work with someone that you've actually seen on our, our video and seen some of their work. So, thank you again, everyone, for joining us on the event with sharing the photos. And be sure and check that gallery out with all their beautiful work and uh, as we um, get ready to sign off here and invite our viewers to uh, circle the photo tour global directory page on Google Plus also on Facebook there's a page and on the website because on the website uh, you can sign up for the newsletter so in the newsletter you will be getting travel tips and photography tips along with any tours that any of our photographers are setting up for specific times. And you can connect with all of their sites right there from that phototourglobaldirectory.com. So please subscribe to our newsletter and follow us on social media. And as we end, I'm going to go back to each one of you. And uh, if you have something that you'd like to say about your area and inviting people to come back, we'll start with Annalise in the, the Netherlands and giving us a wish from the Netherlands. Wish you from the Netherlands all a very good evening. Goedenavond allemaal. And tot ziens in Limburg. Wow. See you all in Limburg. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. And uh, Britta, so we're from Berlin. We'll just uh, click on you here. And you have something you'd like to leave us with from Berlin. Oh, I'm, I'm looking forward to see you in Berlin one day for a photo tour. And ich wünsche einen schönen Abend. Wonderful. Well, that's great. And uh, all right, so Andreas? Okay, I try it in German because it is easier for me. Also, vielen herzlichen Dank noch einmal für die schöne Show hier. Ich hoffe, ihr habt ein paar Eindrücke bekommen, vor allem vom Harz. Und wenn ihr Lust habt, besucht uns einfach im Harz. Na, wir freuen uns. Also, es gibt viele Möglichkeiten zu entdecken. Ja, tschüss und schönen Abend noch. Goodbye. <lacht> Well, thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for all of our listeners. Marcus Bleekstein from Finland. Thank you. And Marcus Landsman from Germany. And Neil, uh, thank you. Um, so we'll sign off and we'll invite you back. And if you have uh, any areas that you'd really like to see, uh, tell us on our, our pages and we'll, we'll keep you posted on who will be next. So you have a great evening. Guten Abend, right? Is that right. saying right? My German friends, right? <laughs> Guten Abend. Guten Abend. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Thank you so much and have a great evening. Yep. Thank you.